Blue Angels will return to the Veteran Dayton Air Show next summer, and organizers tell us that is very good news as we dive into the show's finances for you tonight. Jordan Burgess getting you answers about the air show's future. We've learned the air show actually lost money this year as attendance plummeted. So we're asking tonight if the return of a jet team like the Blue Angels will be enough to turn those numbers around. They won't be streaming through the skies like this for more than eight months, but the Blue Angels have already left one fan amazed. It's a surprise. Uh, we had ourselves convinced there was not going to be a jet team this year. Dayton Air Show Chairman Michael Emhoff says the Blue Angels will fly a limited schedule next year, which includes Dayton. The military's jet teams were grounded this year because of sequestration. And this is one of the top recruiting tools for the Navy and the Air Force, and so having this go away is, is creating this void that, you know, 14 years from now, it, it may have an effect that we don't even know how bad of an effect it has. But you can measure the effect it had on this year's show, which saw attendance drop to 23,000. Compare that to 2010 when the Blue Angels visited and the show had 79,000 people. Emhoff says the air show lost $100,000, which was better than the 200,000 first projected. We could probably produce two more shows without getting into the danger zone um, that don't have jet teams, but it's not a good place to be. You never know when you're going to need those reserves. We asked Emhoff if he thinks the Blue Angels will be enough to bring attendance back up. You think people will come back next year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people are going to flock back because it's like, you know, a year without a jet team um, to people in Dayton, they need it again. Emhoff also thinks the crash that killed wing walker Jane Wicker and her pilot Charles Schwenker kept some people away. But he believes it won't have an impact on next year's show because while tragic, no spectators were injured. Our shows have always been safe, and so because of that, people come back. Still, Emhoff says the show decided not to add another wing walker next year. That was a decision that we made based on the fact of, um, you know, what people may remember from last year. Now, the air show was scheduled for June 28th and 29th. Now, the sequester also kept Wright Patterson Air Force Base planes and personnel from participating in this past air show. Emhoff says it's too early to tell if they'll be allowed at next year's show, but he's hopeful they will be. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.